Hey everybody, today I'm out at the Hyundai Motor Group Innovation Center in Singapore. Long name, short acronym. This is the newest Hyundai factory and it's serving as a test bed for a wide variety of Hyundai technologies, including local production of the new Ionic 5. And nothing shows how far Hyundai has gone in so short of time as these two vehicles that they have in the lobby. Here we have the Hyundai Pony. This is the very first vehicle that Hyundai has ever manufactured for export. And this is the Ionic 5, their world-class electric vehicle. And this is being built in this new factory for the Singapore market because the Singapore market's fairly small, fairly expensive, and they're really testing some new technologies as far as manufacturing vehicles like the Ionic 5 and the upcoming Ionic 5 Robo Taxi. So let's take a look around their innovative factory and see what might be coming to other Hyundai factories soon. Now, if you didn't already know it, Hyundai is not just a car company, they make all sorts of things in South Korea and around the world. And in this particular factory, they're also growing lettuce and mustard and a bunch of other vegetables. And this is part of their sustainability focus, working on not just manufacturing electric vehicles and future other kinds of transportation, but also how do they make the world a better and greener place. So if you're in Singapore, you can actually come here, you can actually taste some of the farmed produce that is uh, manufactured essentially in this factory. And you could also end up going to the sky roof or the Sky uh, Track and actually get a ride in an Ionic 5 on the sixth floor of a building in Singapore. But let's take a look up the escalators and uh, see what the rest of this manufacturing plant is all about. I'm now on the factory floor and hopefully I can show you as much as I can here. The core of the factory design here at this particular factory in Singapore are these robotic sleds. Not just the vehicles ride on them, completed or otherwise. You can see that this is just the raw body coming from the supplier. You can see nothing's bolted on there. There's no battery, there are no electric motors, no wheels and tires, etc. But also the individual components come on little robots like the one that's heading this way right over there. You can see it's heading this way with the bumpers that are actually going to go on one of the vehicles in the assembly line. They're all automated, they have safety sensors, etc. But it allows this factory more flexibility than it might otherwise get. Then vehicles enter what they're calling cells. That's part of the cell manufacturing process rather than an assembly line process. You can see that the vehicle is now being worked on by either a human or by robots, depending on the exact situation. They're also employing a lot of automated quality control procedures in this factory, which is the other unique thing that they're testing out. Now, this factory is only going to be designed to produce about 30,000 cars a year. And that's because Singapore is a fairly small market. Some vehicles are going to be exported. All the American Ionic 5 robo taxis that are going to be deployed in Las Vegas and Los Angeles, etc., those are all going to be manufactured on this site as well. But technologies that are developed here for the manufacture of these vehicles, the upcoming Ionic 6 and a number of other EVs will be built in this factory as well, they're going to be possibly deployed in other future factories around the world. So you can see in this location, we have someone here that is hand assembling portions of the vehicle. And we have one of the Boston Dynamics robots that's here taking quality control images of the vehicle as assembly continues. So that way they can monitor production and make sure things are exactly as they should be. Then we have highly automated cells like this one where robots are doing all of the work. So in this particular cell, bumpers are being installed, dashboards are being installed, headliners are being inserted, etc. You can actually see one of the dashboards scurrying off here to its assembly cell. One of the big advantages to this type of manufacturing process is that vehicles can be parked off to the side if the cell is busy doing something else. And it can also allow a high level of customization, which is where I'm really intrigued to see where this particular manufacturing process ends up going. Hyundai has said that they're going to offer more interior colors, perhaps more exterior colors. Those are among the things they're considering in this particular plant. Right now, if you're in Singapore, you just get your car in shades of gray. That's the only color palette that the Ionic 5 is available in. But because these cars are being made to order rather than just being in stock at a dealer now in Singapore, you'll be able to choose a few more options than perhaps was possible in the past. And that's why I'm intrigued to see if Genesis adopts this production method in future factories because it, perhaps it could allow them to offer more luxury features, more luxury customizations than are currently available in the lineup. Now this factory is all about small scale volume production. I know that sounds kind of weird, but the purpose of this factory is to be a test incubator for some of the Hyundai production technologies. This is not the kind of factory that's going to be producing 200,000 Hyundai Palisades or 300,000 Hyundai Elantras a year. And that's again why they're testing this technology here in Singapore. You can see right now they're installing a seat. And this is different than the seat that was installed in the vehicle in front of it. 
but more flexible than that in theory could be that this same station could be used for building an autonomous taxi in line with building one of these, which has a very different kind of feature set, different levels of complexity, etc. And this is also allowing Hyundai to trial different production technologies that might make their way to those larger production facilities. I could certainly see some of these autonomous robots, which are actually pretty good at detecting obstacles here, I have to say, being used in another production factory. They're actually pretty smart as far as the way they navigate around the human traffic that's here on site. All right, now it's time to test out the SkyTrack, which is up here on the fifth floor of the factory. Basically, you can go up to 83 kilometers an hour in an Ionic 5, so let's take a look. Now, you don't have to buy a Hyundai here if you want to experience the SkyTrack. You can actually make a reservation online and have someone drive you around the track. Rather, unfortunately, you can't drive on the track yourself. As always, thanks for taking the time to check out this video and stay tuned for more information from Hyundai about their manufacturing plans. I'm really intrigued to see what the future of this particular factory is like. And again, the implications it might have not necessarily on Hyundai's mass production models for North America, but more likely their luxury models, because this is the same kind of manufacturing technology that they could easily deploy for manufacturing the GV60 or the electric GV70 or upcoming Genesis products that maybe customers might want additional customization on. Maybe you wanted a different colored body or a different colored interior or more options available on a Genesis product that are not currently available because of the way those, manu those vehicles are manufactured right now. This manufacturing technology would allow that sort of manufacturing to happen. But again, you're probably not likely to see this on a high volume product like a 300,000 unit a year Hyundai Elantra anytime soon. Let me know what you think about all that down there in the comments section. Be sure and find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all the other social media channels. I'll see all of you next week.